back to another video. Today I am starting my trip north. I've spent the past month hanging out with family and friends in the southwest. Southern California, Arizona, even Southern Utah. But today I break away and I head north. It is not an easy thing to do to be saying goodbye. It feels like it's the right thing to do. I bid one final goodbye to family as I was passing through town and drove off into the sunset. After a long day of goodbyes, repacking and reprovisioning. I called it an early night at a rest area. Starting fresh with a new day, I was ready for some adventure, but also a walk down memory lane. I was headed north on US 395, which goes through the Eastern Sierra. And while I've never called the Eastern Sierra my home, it does in a way feel like my home range. When I first started heading out for adventures, this was the area I frequented the most. I have memories here of family and friends, many adventures over the years. In fact, some of them to this day, several years ago, including a trip to the Alabama Hills. So I stopped for the morning to do a quick hike along the Arch Loop Trail to reminisce and get in a little exercise. Good morning! It is a beautiful day, but I can tell it's going to be a hot one. It is 7.30 and it's already about 72 degrees. I am out getting a little hike in. First thing, I woke up at a rest area and just brushed my teeth, got in the car, and drove straight up here to this trailhead. It was about a 40 minute drive. And there's only one other car in the parking lot. I'm getting out here getting some movement in first thing in the morning before it gets too hot and I've got a fun day ahead so I'm really looking forward to everything but this is a spectacular way to start the day every now and then I'll meet someone that's lived in a hometown for a long time or even their whole life no judgment but I absolutely cannot relate to that I've lived in 10 different states and moved within those states many times. Now I'm a full-time nomad and make time for biannual visits with family and friends, loved ones that I've known for the longest and they kind of feel like home to me. After all, they say home is where the heart is. I don't have a physical home, but coming back to the Eastern Sierra, even if I'm by myself today, and remembering time well spent with family and friends here, it's a good way to ease into saying goodbye for the long summer ahead. I was headed to another location and on a whim, I decided to make a left turn off of the 395 at Tom's place and head up Rock Creek Road, gaining quite a bit of elevation and see if I could hike Little Lakes Valley. I had no beta on it, but it's a hike I've done a number of times. It's actually one of my most favorite hikes in the Eastern Sierra. And I have so many wonderful memories of hiking here with family and friends, I thought, it would be a wonderful way to spend the afternoon of today. In fact, I had a, a phone photo memory come up just the other day of a couple years ago, I did a backpacking trip uh, this time of year uh, of Little Lakes Valley um, Basin up over Mono Pass. And I remember the conditions being fairly decent. So I thought I'd check it out. However, the road is currently closed about 1.7 miles away from the trailhead. So I'm going to leave that for another time. I'm sure I'll see Little Lake Sally again and I'll go back to my original plan for the day. Um, I just pulled over real quick because I am going to put together a little snack. 
this closed up and cool again. Here's lunch. Pretty basic, but she'll do. I'm going to switch out my trail runners for my boots because these are waterproof and I'm going to hike around Convict Lake. I think it's only like two and a half miles, um, but with it being spring, I theorize that the inlet of the lake is probably getting a lot of snow melt. <laughs> so. I might want the waterproof. I hope it's evident for you from my expression how much fun I was having this day. I was going to all of my places that I had wonderful memories of. Although I didn't make it to Little Lakes Valley, even just the thought of it brought back so much joy. It's one of my most favorite places and I remember when my mom took me there for the very first time, I cried with joy of the beauty of the place. This area, although I'll say, I've seen it before where the water's running so high, it starts coming over this boardwalk. Definitely not the case today. Here we go. I'm glad I came prepared. <laughs> so I'm on the other side of the lake from where I started. Be a straight shot and I'm gonna try to do it quick. <laughs> okay, pretty sweet hike. Um, now I'm gonna go see about checking into camp. I, I think I might be looking at a bald eagle right now. My lens isn't very long, so I don't know if it's possible to tell, but it could be. That would be cool. I took a little nap. <laughs> I got to camp did almost nothing and took a nap. <laughs> and now it's almost 4.30. I have a spectacular view in front of me and it's time to get cooking on dinner. Should be a pretty easy meal to come together. It's uh, chicken and gnocchi. It's another little Trader Joe's recipe <laughs> that I came across. First step, open up a little beer Look at this. <laughs> Wearing it now. Of course, the wind picked up considerably as soon as I started cooking. So I've got this foil spoon, foil box contraption holding the foil on. I really like this jet foil stove, but um, this pan, which I also really like, didn't come with a lid. So this is my lid. literally a bear in my camp. Um, you can see there's a bear right there. Hey! Hey! Hey bear!
there is just right on the other side of my picnic table. I can't see it, but it's right there still. Good morning! It was an exciting end to my evening last night as quite unexpectedly I saw a bear in my camp. Not far from where I'm standing right now. So I had been hanging out in the back of my car for a couple of hours. Honestly, I was working on editing the first half of this video. So everything you saw up until the point of the bear encounter essentially. And I just randomly had this like I guess because it was getting darker maybe but I just had a feeling like I should peek out just check my surroundings at that point I already had all of the window covers up in the car but the tailgate was open so the entire back of the vehicle was open so I went to peek out and right here I saw what I initially thought was a mule deer because of the coloring because as it turned out this black bear was in fact very blonde and my brain went through this thought process of like oh it's a deer let me grab my camera like so I just grabbed my phone because it was the closest and fastest thing and then I then my brain was like oh that's a weird that's a that's an oddly shaped deer <laughs> And then it was like, oh, that's a bear. <laughs> and it took me a second to remember how to respond to a bear. Hey, hey, hey bear. I didn't feel threatened. I knew that the bear was just looking for any food scraps or anything like that by the area I was checking, but it was definitely too close for comfort and I didn't want it to continue to feel comfortable. After the bear took off, it headed towards my neighbor and he shoot it away, but I wasn't confident that the bear completely went away. I felt like it was gonna come back. It was gonna wait until it was darker. So from then, I closed the tailgate and I tucked in for the night. It took me a little bit of time to actually calm down enough to fall asleep. In fact, it took me a few hours, but I did get some good sleep. I got up this morning at seven. Um, did my morning routine, had a nice cup of coffee, and now we're headed out. I've got a few exciting things planned for today as I continue up north on 395. And one of those things involves a pretty yummy breakfast burrito that I've heard rumors of. So hopefully I can get my hands on one of those in a couple of hours. But in the meantime, I'm just getting everything loaded up so I can head on out of here. lives up to the hype. Where are you going? I've never seen her.
Something that's pretty cool that I just found out is that Mono Lake is the western stretch of the Great Basin, which butts all the way up against the Wasatch Mountains in Utah, which is where I spent the winter. So this is the far western stretch of that area, which you think like Great Salt Lake. That makes sense. My last stop on this journey of the 395 North was in Bridgeport, California, where I stopped to pick up a sticker, sticker. representing the 395. Thank you for coming along on my journey northbound. I hope to see you next week as the journey continues. Take care.